Wrestler. Give me Reddington. Tim. You know they say you can judge a man by the company he keeps. You have any idea what you just did? I was in. Yes, and now you're out. You didn't seem inclined to leave your new friends willingly, so I had to improvise. I was on assignment. I had a contract. Circumstances change. Think, Tom. I'm the one who told you to go and never come back. So for me to be responsible for your return, you must know I don't have a comparable option. No, I am not going back. She'll be indicted, not just for perjury, not just for obstruction, for murder. The local authorities think she killed the harbor master. She's going to prison. I'm the only reason she's not in prison already. That harbor master was going to call the cops. Yes, but that's all beside the point. You know what to do, Tom. Are you going to let a crime you committed to protect Elizabeth be the reason she goes to jail? Like you care. What does that mean? You are using her. You have been using her from the very beginning. You need her on the outside so you can keep your little task force up and running. I'm glad we had this talk. I know you'll do the right thing. Listen to me. I am gone. Lizzie did this to herself the second she threw me in that hole. I am not going down. Not for her. It sure as hell not for you. Any word? You really don't have to stay. No. Charlene, the last thing I want to do is pry, but Dr. Harper mentioned his condition. Carol's a private man. Harold has a brain tumor. Glioblastoma, it's called. Doctors found it last year when he was admitted after being attacked. They suggested that he leave the bureau. Any undue stress could exacerbate his illness, but, but Harold, that, that job, it means everything to him. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Original prognosis was less than a year. But we found this experimental trial program. By some miracle, Harold was accepted. They were giving him some new chemotherapy drug. We thought it might be working, but after today, I'm not so sure. Liz, you can't say anything. Please promise me. Harold is so proud of the idea that you and the others feeling sorry for him. Oh, I understand. This stays between us. You have my word. 